Hi, my name is Sherry and I wanted to share my experience with hair, <laughs> with my hair. Obviously you could see I'm bald. I shaved my head. Am I not totally bald yet? Um, and I don't think it's going to happen. I'm, uh, I'm almost done with my weekly treatments, which the weekly treatments have been um, pretty intense. Um, and the weekly treatment is what's caused my hair to fall out. And this is due to metastatic breast cancer that I'm being actually treated for. And I, you know, I'm, I've decided to do these videos to help others and to also get my expression out there. It really helps. And I, I love being creative. And so I'm having fun with that. Um, you know, I'm just really, really blessed to be able to have, be able to do this. And again, if you have any sort of questions about what, what I've experienced and anything I could do to help you out, I would, I would love that if you could put that in the comments below, like the video. I'm not anywhere near monetize, monetizing a video, so I'm not making anything off of these. I'm just doing it for, for those two reasons, you know, just to express and to help other people. So if you find it helpful, please share it. If, you know, if you find it, maybe it could help somebody else. That'd be great. So I want to talk about my hair and my hair experience. I, so I'm going to tell you, I have been blown away by just the, the, the journey that this has taken me on. You know, I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer in November, which was three days. Well, I wasn't diagnosed three days before my birthday. I was put, I went into the hospital three days before my birthday. And so I was there on my birthday. <laughs> so this year we're going to have a really big celebration. Anyway, I wanted to talk about the hair because, you know, I've had, all my life I've had like great thick long curly hair and I never in a million years thought I would ever shave my head or anything like that never thought I would have been diagnosed with cancer or have a disease ever like not cross my mind and now that it's impacting me I've realized how much I've had my head in the sand or head up my butt <laughs> so one of those two and now I want to be an encouragement for other people and then also be an advocate for preventing disease in the first place. And so anyway, that's my mission. So I, you know, when I was, I started to lose my hair actually didn't, it didn't happen right away. It happened like, I would say uh, probably a month, maybe a month or two in, uh, um, I started to like, you know, my hair was like probably right down to here. I just started to have like clumps of it come out. Okay. Now that was weird for me. And I ended up going on a, um, so my sister's boss asked me if I would house sit for her. And I, I was like, yeah, I'd, I would love to do that because it would get me away from here. And just, just a change of scenery is really good. And she has a farm with animals and it's like really beautiful place. And I'm like, God, this is so amazing, you know? So I started to think about my hair and how, how I've been on this like journey with, you know, if you think about hair, you know, it's kind of like you've been on a journey with it. <laughs> and I decided to write a letter to it because I was having a little bit of a, of a hard time. I was feeling sad. I was having some grief over the loss of hair that I knew, I knew that I, I knew that it was getting close to time to shaving my head. Um, because if you've ever had hell, hair, hell, <laughs> hair fall out, it's very messy and it's just, it doesn't even, that my hair actually didn't even feel real. It felt wiry. It felt, you know, just, I don't know. It just, it's very hard to describe if you haven't been through it. Um, just not, not good. It is not a good feeling to have that happen. So I was really, you know, processing that and. So I decided to write a letter to hair. I have a video, a short video on it, if you want to listen to it. And it was really powerful for me to do this. And I had learned a long time ago with coaching clients and, and like doing my own work that whenever you have a problem with something, even if it's a person, um, or a problem with something like money is a big one. And I, I would, uh, recommend people write letters to money and then cross out money and put your name. Cause it's really about how you feel, feel about yourself. And so I did that with the hair and it was really powerful and I healed, just was healing a lot of it. And what I decided to do was make it a positive experience versus a negative one or a sad one. I didn't, I wanted to actually release the sadness 
And so what I did was I wrote the letter to Hare. It was so powerful. I, I, I can remember where I was sitting and it was sunny outside. It was just really a beautiful day. And I'm, I'm all tearing up a little bit because it was just what a great experience to be led to do really by a divine power, um, I would say. And um, uh, I decided to have a head shaving party, <laughs> which was super cool. So, and I had, um, I invited my friends and my family to come and support me in this. And it wasn't really crowded. I, didn't, I just wanted a small intimate group. And I took my, I took, I took it into my own hands and it felt so powerful. Um, I started to shave, I shaved the first part of it and then I had my sister take over and I would say that I would have, if I would have known how that was going to go, um, I would have done it a long time ago, honestly, like I would have done it before a diagnosis ever happened. Like it was the most empowering thing I've ever done in my life. I never thought I would ever do a video like this. Um, I was always like so concerned about how I looked. Um, on tape, you know, like the videos would be like, kind of like, oh, I got to do, you know, I got to fix, I got to fix something, you know, and now it's completely a, a different story. It's just raw and vulnerable. And um, my friends were so gracious and giving and loving and like, you, you look like you look so badass. And I felt badass, right? So, um, if you have an attachment to hair, which a lot of women do, and maybe even guys do, you know, you see guys, you know, doing things through their hair, right? So I think it was really about letting go of the attachment to hair, because really in the end of the, at the end of the day, does it matter? No, it's not your life. Your life is more important than your hair. And so if you have, if you're faced with this, which I hope you're not, I, I unfortunately, the odds are that a lot of people are going to be faced with it unless we can stop this from happening um, and doing prevention methods, which again, you know, you're gonna hear me go on these rants all day long <laughs> about preventing it in the first place. So um, if you have had this happen or you're faced with this, and not everybody loses their hair to chemo, um, that's what I'm losing my hair to is chemo. And um, the good news is, is it's gonna grow back, which I'm excited about. And I'm gonna love that. And now I get to wear fancy hats and I can go out like this or I can wear a hat or whatever I want. So love that. Anyway, if you're faced with it, I would say um, write a letter to hair. Um, and anything, anything you're struggling with, write a letter to it. It's so eye-opening and very, very healing. And so um, highly encourage it. And if you wanna read my letter again, I did a short, it's a short video on, on the hair thing. And if you want to listen to that, I'd love it. And again, if you have any sort of questions or anything you want, if you want prayer for something or you're struggling with something, please comment and I will be happy to answer your questions. So anyway, thank you. Love you guys.